Hey, so this video is going to be about that same uh, engine I was working on yesterday, the FR691V Kawasaki. Just something uh, about adjusting valves. Just adjusting valves, that's all it's about. So if you want to adjust some valves, uh, I'm not going to show you how to adjust the valves, but I'm just going to show you a little trick about when you're adjusting the valves. So stay tuned, we'll get right into it. Jungle Bob here. So uh, we got the uh, head back on. We've got the engine back on the uh, lawnmower. Uh, sounds like a plane's coming, so we're gonna wait before I speak. Really, what I wanted to talk to you about today was uh, adjusting the valves. And uh, I know everybody's seen these valves before. These are the Kawasaki valves with a concentric thing where you, you loosen this uh, locking nut up here and then you turn this and that's how you get your, you know, set your valves, get your valve gap. But interesting thing, uh, you know, in the service manual, uh, I have the Kawasaki this is a 691V, but it applies to the 651s and about five or six other ones. And, it, it, and it's basically the same. But, uh, so like, let's just say we're over here on the number two cylinder. And we want to get to top dead center to adjust the valves. Now, we could do it the tarot way where we, uh, you know, close one, you know, close one all the way and open the other one and adjust the opposite valve. But in the service manual, I was reading it, since I have it. <laughs> and uh, if you got all the covers off, I mean, the tarot way is a great way when you don't have the covers off. And you can do it with the, feeling the screwdriver in here and know which. But if you want to know if you're on the compression stroke, I thought I'd show you this. And I've seen this on a couple of videos, but I thought I'd show this to you. So, uh, hang on. We'll get to it. Basically, uh... If you want to know, you have a top dead center on here, Kawasaki. I don't know if you can see my fingers up here, but this is the flywheel. I'm going to spin it around. These are the two magnets, right? So you spin this around, and the service manual says to line this left arm if you're looking at it from behind the engine. Now, on the diagram in the service manual, they're, they're looking at it from the front, so it kind of looks weird. But you want to line... The second magnet up with this leg of the coil right here and that's going to be uh, supposed to be top dead center and the way you can tell is if you see right here if I can if I could turn these push rods and they move in freely that would be top dead center so we're not on the compression stroke right now so it, the service manual says turn it one more revolution around In the same place now look at this I can spin the uh, connecting rods around so we know we're on the compression stroke now so I thought that was a great tip uh, I, I've read it in the service manual before uh, most of the time when I'm out in, you know servicing these uh, or adjusting the valves I don't have all the plastics off uh, so but if you've got it torn down like I did you know this is the easiest way to do it and uh, then, then it's just, uh, the, on this 691V, it's uh, 4,000 to 6,000 on both valves, the intake and the exhaust, or the intake up the top here and the exhaust on the bottom. And uh, I thought that would be cool to show you guys. Uh, you know, I never really tried it out, but, uh, you know, who needs any instructions? But when you're repairing small engines, and, and especially like this, uh, if you can get a copy of your service manuals, get them. Uh, but anyway, I thought that was neat. Yeah, so uh, I guess that just shows you. I mean, there's no, I, there's two or three different ways to adjust valves. I mean, uh, the reason I was showing you that one is because I already had the plastics off, right? And uh, it's much easier, you know. I can read the service manual and see, and it, it's exactly right on. So you know your your spot spot on when you do it that way. Now. If you don't have the covers off, the tarot way is the spot on way and easiest method that I use. There's your dinner on that one too as well. Uh, 
you know, closing one where the other one's always, other one's open, that's the way to do it that way. But if you're tearing down an engine and you're putting it back together, you might as well do it this way, especially if you've got the service manual that tells you that's how to do it. Check it that way. So what I did is I checked it, uh, I adjusted the way the service manual did. Then I went back and uh, checked it, you know, the way we'd be doing it with one open and one closed, exactly the same, identical. So that just shows you that, you know, that it works. But I, I thought it was cool how they uh, pointed out about how the uh, push rods should spin freely when you're on the compression stroke at top dead center. So just something neat that I learned today. And so I did a video on it. So if you like that video uh, or this video, uh, leave me some likes, leave me some comments, you know, go ahead and uh, subscribe. Ring that bell so you get my future videos. And uh, that's it. Jungle Bob out.